What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Fo folks, it's good to be back. You know, a lot of you folks have been asking me, Chris, are you all right? I hope everything's okay. And I have been. And thank you very much for, you know, asking about me and stuff like that. Um, just basically work. That's pretty much it. You know, other than having a cold, I think a couple of weeks ago, but you know, that's pretty much it. And it would have been a little tough to try to do a video and talk it like this. Uh, that wouldn't have worked very well. Uh, so we're, we are back. And this video I got right here is basically about the opportunity. Now, somebody stitched a bunch of solids together from 2004 to 2019. Now, I had done this video a while back, or I did a video on this particular video, uh, and I'm going to show you folks there how to break this down and find this yourself. Now, when I look at this stuff, I see what looks like broken technology, um, no matter what it may be, but it doesn't look natural. It doesn't look like just stone and rocks and simply that's it. And I'm also going to show you how they purposely done some blurring. Surprise, surprise. Let's not waste any time and let's jump right into it. All right, you can see right here, Opportunity Rover on Mars. And you can see 2004 to 2019. Underneath here has the description. It says, NASA announced the completion of Mars Exploration Rover, or the MER, Opportunity's mission after a final attempt to command the rover on 12 February, well, 12th of February, 2019. Opportunity last communicated with Earth on June 10th, 2018, as a global dust storm blanketed the solar-powered rover's location on Mars. Now, I don't believe this because of the things you find in this video. It's almost like they didn't want to have to keep doing this, you know, keep blurring everything out, so on and so forth. Now, when you get this video, and of course, you'll get the link to it, you want to go over to the bottom where it says settings, and you want to go to playback speed, and you want to hit quarter speed, so 0 0.25. Then you can play around and toggle with the play and the pause, and you'll see right here, and this is at, you can see the timestamp, it's at uh, 2 minutes and 15 seconds. And once you start it, what it does is it goes a little bit more forward and it starts to take a left. Once it starts to take this left, you'll see it's already moved that fast. So you literally have to target right here, starting to turn. Right here is where I start. So this is right at 216. You know, you got to toggle because you don't want motion blur. So you want it to set into the frame. So you can literally land on it. It looks kind of blurry. Land on it again, like real quick, pause, play, pause, play. So you finally get to the cleaner part of the photo. You you don't want a bunch of blur. Now you can look at this right wheel right here, and you can see it's pretty clear. So it's on the left side of the rover, no problem. But why is it all blurry in between these rocks, folks? You can see that without doing anything to this video. Now you can say, well, it's a motion blur. Well, if that's the case, the wheels would also look blurry as well because it's the whole photo, right? So if we were to go quickly over it, it would blur, and you would see that. But yet it's clear. So is in the rocks in between the blur. So we know that it's not blurred out. Right? Now let's get into Photoshop because I want to show you this. This is cool. Now let me just take this into black plate so I can show you the blur that's purposely being put on this. Okay. Folks, look at this. This is crazy. You can see the rocks are pretty decent, even around the wheel on the right and on the left. Now look at the wheel carefully. You can see where they literally went around it. You can see it stepped. Right here, you can see it looks like it's doing this, okay? You can literally see that where all of this blur is, and you can see how they went right into the wheel with the blur. Why would you need to blur anything out? All in between these rocks and some of the rocks, these so-called rocks, are covered up. Why would that be? So we're going to get through that. And some of the stuff up here as well I find really interesting. Upper left corner. And this piece right here. Check that out, folks. That doesn't look natural to me. That looks like some kind of part of a machinery, a piping sticking out of these rocks. Are they truly rocks? Well, let's have another look at this photo. Go back to the raw photo. Again, no blurring on the wheels. And if it is, it's very minimal. You don't see that at all. And I don't have to do a thing. I can still see all the blurring. See that? Okay. So why don't we just bring it down? You can see where I burned and really show off a lot of the blurring in the center of the photo. Notice pieces like this here. Things like this. All these little pieces in between, like in the middle of the screen. You can see that. All these little pieces laying on the ground. Now, a lot of these things are rocks. There's no doubt about that. You know, but some of these things are really, really questionable. Let's keep going. Now, what I wanted to see was this over here on the left-hand side. Folks, look at this thing. Are you kidding? 
It looks like some kind of pipe is doing this. Looks like it's got a bigger piece here. And then it literally goes down. You can see just a, a more clearer part of it right here at the very tip of that, right there. And then it goes like this here. Now, if we were to back out of this photo, well, let's go a little more than that. Okay, let's do this. You can still see there's some white pieces here. And if you notice, if you zoom in just a hair a bit, you can see where they blurred this whole area. No way is this natural if you're blurring it. All right, so this is just before this thing takes a left turn. Now, when we get into this more, now it's going to turn to the left right here. Okay, so now I got it right smack dab where I want it. Folks, right here alone. On the upper right, right here, you can see the split photo. And it shows you the map that it's actually on. It's going around this crater. But right here, you can see what looks like a block. And there's so much more in here to see. Let's get back down to Photoshop. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, this is the photo right here. I don't have to do anything to this photo, folks. This here. This thing, I'm not even sure what to even make of this. It literally looks like it's doing this. I'll zoom into this in a moment. Then it's some kind of weird design thing here. Let me zoom into that. Again, blurring right here. Purposely being put on. You can see that. It's like literally void of any information or detail. Completely blocked out. All these pieces down here. And I also do a black and white version of this, so and it slightly changes, but yet it's still bringing these pieces out. So let's keep going on this photo. As you burn it, you can start to see the different colors pop. That's manipulation, folks. Okay, starting to bring out more of it. Something white right here. And what they do is they try to blur it right out. You can see it right there. Notice this is white, and this is completely this weird color, and it's right over that. They try to put it right through the center of it. And you can still see the white down here, right there, as we go along. There you go. And we're going to keep going. You'll still actually see it down here, too. But, folks, look at these pieces. This thing looks like a hood to something. And we can see a little bit better. Something's doing this, coming down. And then the weird design of this thing. I'm not sure what even to make of that or even call it. What it could possibly be. Pieces down here. What's all over the ground here? Let's keep going. Okay. Clearly there's something here in the background on the top of this ridge. If you want to call it a hill. I don't believe that it is. Notice more and more little things are popping out over here. We got something in the lower right corner here. With these three, it looks like a little appendages sticking out. All in the center here. Doesn't look like rocks. There's more detail than just some kind of rock or smooth rock. Something's bent up right here. You can see it I'm doing this here. So whatever that is, you can see a shadow under it. Not sure what to even make of that. Keep going. There's something on the side here on the left. See that? Folks, I don't know about you, but when I see this, I'm not seeing natural objects. I'm not seeing that at all. Like I said, all kinds of detail here, little pieces here. Uh, there's something right there buried. You can see it. It's got a bluish color to it. Something way back in here. And folks, if I remember correctly, this thing literally veers off to the left again because it clearly cannot go through this. There's something right here. It looks like some weird black container you guys can see that right here it's got something on top of it that's not very round but you get the idea i don't know what this stuff is folks but i do know what it doesn't look like it doesn't look natural let me show you the black and white folks come on 
Folks, I don't know about you, but when I see this, I'm seeing what looks like technology. I'm not just seeing rocks on the ground. I'm seeing some crazy looking things, things that should not be there. And again, we can see this right here, how this goes past into this blur that's been purposely put here. Again, you can see no information at all, no detail whatsoever. See that? No way, no how is this natural. They're literally covering up things that are laying right here on the ground, and you can see that. So, folks, as always, I'm going to let you decide what you think this stuff is. Now, there's no way to know exactly what these things are, of course. There's no way to vet any of it, but I'm going to let you look at it. Use your magnifiers or your jeweler's eyepiece, whatever it takes, and have a look. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit more enhanced right here. We're going to zoom into this, have a look around, look at some of the pieces that are on the ground here. And just a quick recap on some of these smaller things here on the right. And here's the weird thing. Just look at some of the things on or in front, rather, of this rover. Things that there's no way that these things, again, can be natural. I'm not saying there's no rocks. I'm not saying nothing of this is sand. But most of this is not natural in the background here. This right here, what I said earlier, looks like some kind of weird hood type thing. Okay, has this weird design in the back. It looks like it does this. Just, it just, it's just not natural. There's no way. And there's a couple small little details inside or on the side of this object right here. You can see that. Again, these little pieces in the back. And folks, as I showed earlier, check this out with the intentional blurring. Okay, so now here's the black and white. Again, have a good look at it. This is what we had. I did a little bit more enhancement on this just to point these things out and show them. Again, to the right. All these little pieces in here. In the front, right here. All of this here on the right-hand side, top, of course, and over here. Just to name just a few, but look at the pieces on the ground. And there's many more in between that, so that's what you want to look at. Right? Now, this one right here is the raw one. Now, there's one thing, folks, you have to take note of. This area, with all of the intentional blurring, as we go more and more into this, see how it looks like there's barely anything on the ground that just looks like rocks? This blurring is there to hide the height of these objects because they are off the ground. I don't mean literally levitating. I mean how tall they are. Let me show you the enhancement again. Okay, we're starting to get into that. Now, I did a little bit more. I want another step on this to enhance this and then take away the brightest parts. You can see that. Okay, so it's not distracting the eyes. Now, just have a look again at small pieces like this. All inside this. This weird rock. Look at the details in it. I can just look at a bunch of these things and I can see just weird objects just sitting on the ground here. No way to me is this natural. That's just my opinion. All on this side. Again, we have this up here in the top left. Not sure what all that is. All that is here. Check this piece out right here. This is pretty interesting here inside that circle right there. All these other little pieces. And here's the weird thing, folks. You can see what looks like 90 degree angles, squares, circles. Here's a perfect example. Right here, I'm going to put the arrow pointing right down here. And we're going to zoom into that. Let me go back to the first step on this. You're going to see that much clearer. See that right there? Come on, guys. Look at this. And again, this blurring is there to hide, not only hide the objects, but the height of them. Notice how there's much more in this photo when you enhance it. See how it doesn't look like this much? Doesn't look like really anything standing off the ground. But when you get into this, you can see things. Some things have height. And you can see there's much more in this photo. And that's what it's all about. Getting these things to pop. Do this right here. And there you go. Going backwards, this photo right here. Again, use your jeweler's eyepiece or your magnifiers. This right here. Pause it here. If you And this photo right here. Okay. And there you go, folks. 
folks, like I said, when I see this stuff, I don't see just rocks, maybe a couple of small stones. I see what looks like broken pieces, stuff that is scattered in ruins. That's what it appears to me, in my opinion. Of course, everybody's got their own opinion. I want to hear what you've got to say, because like I said, once you see this thing take a left turn and it starts to go down, there's no way that this is natural. You can see what looks like blocks, round circles, what looks like small pipes, things all over the ground. And if I'm not mistaken, if you keep watching that video, it kind of veers off even more to the left. Like it can't go any further to the left. It's got to keep turning to the left in order to avoid this, this ruins or these things on the ground. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. I want to hear what you've got to say. And of course, like and share the video. It's always appreciated. You know that. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Folks, got more coming up. I know last time I said they were like, oh, yeah, whatever. You know, we heard that before. It's been three weeks. We got some more coming. Like I said, it's just been super busy. It's hard to judge when I'll be off, when I won't. And I have a feeling if not this weekend, we're going to try to do the middle of next week. Maybe on a Wednesday, we're going to start doing our podcast again. So uh, make sure you stay tuned and keep uh, keep an eye out for it. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.